If you're going to get a better job while growing your business, you have to be a lot more effective at marketing your skill sets professionally. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the top three shortcuts to be able to accomplish that fast. Let's hop into number one. If you're going to get a better job, that's gonna pay you more money, have better benefits, it is imperative that you get the Black Men's Guide to Career Advancement. Now, I want you to see all of what's on the board right now. All of this is included in that file. This is one of the best free files that you're ever going to get, guys. I've put this together and I'm showing you how to be able to get a better paying job in the next 90 days. In that Black Men's Guide to Career Advancement, here's what we're gonna go over. It's gonna have an assessment on your best professional skills. Chances are, you're working at a job that's not really a career and you're kind of bouncing around, but you're not in the best fit yet. You got to be able to assess where you're at currently and where you're trying to go. Also, I'm going to talk about how to be able to make you more marketable. See, I've worked with clients in the past and I've showed them how to be able to get $10,000 salary increases and going to a different position or just negotiating at their current corporation where they work without needing a certification, without needing an extra college degree, all by marketing their current skill set in a better way. I cannot overemphasize enough how important it is for you to get this document, okay? I'm gonna put up the link once again. As you're focusing on getting a better job while growing your business, this is the first thing that you need. So if you don't even have this file, all of the other steps that I'm gonna go over is only gonna help you but so much. Now, I'm gonna make the assumption at this point in the video that you've gotten the file, that you've opened it up, that you've seen how this is actually gonna help you fine tune your resume, show you how to be able to network with high level employers and recruiters, show you exactly how to be able to follow up with those recruiters after you've met with them and you've had that icebreaker, prepared you for the interview, and then set you up to be able to accept or negotiate an offer. After you've gotten this document, the next thing that you need to do is this. You need to now start to update your routine so that you have enough time in a day to focus on growing your business, finding a better job, all while maintaining your current source of income. This is how you do it. I need you to start waking up earlier before you go to work. I know you didn't wanna hear this, but every tool that I give to you is only as good as the routine that you're following. I need you to get up before you go to work earlier because I need you to carve out some additional time to focus on applying to different positions and following up with pending applications on top of you actually growing your business. Here's the truth. When I work with most of my clients, you know what one of their biggest problems is? They want to be able to own a business but they're working at a nine to five and they don't start working on the business until they get off of work, which means they don't actually start pursuing their own interests until their jobs have already burned them out. By the time they get off of work, they're already tired. They're stressed. They're not as creative as they could be. They're not going all in on their business endeavors. I don't want you to find yourself in this trap of the rat race where you get up right before you got to go to work only so that way you can dedicate the best hours of your day and your peak energy to building up somebody else's empire. If you are really about the spirit of ownership, you have to get up earlier because you owe it to yourself to give yourself your best work. So before you even go to any nine to five job or whatever work schedule you're operating off of, you need to be spending some time focused on 
building up your own interests, building up your business, as well as focusing on the next position. What I recommend that you do is you give yourself at least one hour per day for each area. Give yourself at least one hour on a typical work week, Monday to Friday, to focus on planning your business. I want you to take at least one hour every day for a typical Monday, Friday work week, focusing on applying the new positions, getting more marketable skills, going through this black man's guide to career advancement to figure out how to be able to get that better job within the next 90 days. I'm telling you this now, you're not just going to get a better job by taking whatever resume that's got you at your current position and putting it back on the market. If you're recycling the same old thing, you're gonna get the same old results. So it is imperative that you dedicate the necessary period of time to invest in your results. Give yourself one hour every workday before you go to work to focus on you improving your career, okay? Also, the next thing that I'm going to touch on and we're going to close this out on this is you really need to be able to have a solid schedule and tracker to monitor your business progress as well as the progress of your job hunt. What do I mean when I say you need a schedule and you need a tracker? So it's like I told you a little bit earlier on how you need to be able to get up earlier before you go to work. You need to be able to start putting in blocked periods of time on your daily schedule where you're blocking out your time for managing your business and you're blocking out time for following up for new positions for work. If you're just taking life as it comes and you're just all over the place, chances are you're not going to be very effective at anything for too long. You know, I always see all of these people who are dabbling in a billion different things. And when you dabble at a billion different things, trying to be a jack of all trades, you end up becoming a master in none. It's better for you to take a few things and do it very well than for you to do a trillion different things and you get lackluster results. So write out a schedule. Come up with a daily routine of time that you're gonna make every day to focus on applying to new positions. Come up with time every single day to focus on growing your business and put that around the time that you're actually at your nine to five job and make your schedule realistic. There's something that I want you to understand before you start saying, but Uzziah, you know, how am I gonna be able to grow my business? And you know, how am I gonna be able to work at my nine to five job while applying to other jobs? How can you do all of this in a day? Because I've got so many different things going on. I've got my family, I've got my friends, I've got my school, I've got my church. How do I get this all done in a day? I want you to really think about how many hours you're given in one day. You're given 24 hours, right? The average person only gets about six to seven hours of sleep per day. You're not even getting eight hours of sleep per day, which is what's suggested. But even if you were getting that eight hours of sleep per day, that still gives you 16 additional hours to manage your day effectively. 16 additional hours. Now the average person working one job full time is only working eight hours a day. So that means that you still have an extra eight hours that are unaccounted for. Now all I'm telling you to do is Outside of that nine to five work schedule, just carve out one hour and put it on your calendar. Where is it going to fall? Are you going to get up at 7 a.m. and do a little bit of work then? Are you going to get up at six? Are you going to work, get up at five? Put it on the schedule. The things that get scheduled are the things that get done. And last but not least, you've got to be able to have a tracker. After you've applied, 
to one position after another position, you've got to be able to have a structured way of efficiently following up with employers after you have submitted your resume. Gone are the days where you just turn in some humdrum resume and you just hope and pray that somebody calls you back and you have not done your due diligence. You have not sent a follow-up email. You have not scheduled a follow-up phone call. If you want to have a better job, that means that you have to have a better approach. And you got to set a tracker over every company that you've applied for and what your status is on applying with them. So you might have your company name in one column and you might have another column that lists when did you apply for this position? You might have another column that says, okay, what is the latest status? Have I heard from them? Yes or no. And you need to very effectively, systematically, company by company by company, have every company documented on what their latest status is. So that way, you know what your next steps are. So that way, when you get into your power hour, for your job application, you know which companies you need to contact and which ones you don't. You know which new companies that you need to apply for and you know which companies you just need to be doing some basic follows up with until you get results. Once you operate in this more effective approach, trust me when I tell you that you're going to start to see better results, okay? So again, last but not least, none of this will work unless you start at number one. This is the most ironclad way that I have developed for you to be able to get a better job within the next 90 days and it's free of charge. I'm asking for nothing, literally. All you gotta do is click the link above. Click the link of in your description. Click wherever the hell I'm putting the link in this video that you are watching. Get the Black Man's Guide to Career Advancement and it's going to show you all the steps that you need to take to totally transform your resume, your networking approach, dominate your interview, and then give yourself the right routine to allow your new found presentation skills to flourish. All right? So make sure that you get the guide and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.